Hey everyone, I'm Nog and welcome back to Satisfactory. Today we are starting a brand new base because the experimental build is here and I definitely want to play on the experimental build to get all of the cool new stuff uh, that, have, that has been put into the game. I want to play with that. So unfortunately in the last playthrough we didn't quite make everything that we could, but Hopefully in this one we will be a little bit quicker as we know the game, or I know the game uh, quite a lot better than I did uh, during the first playthrough. So let's start a new game and we will call it YouTube, tr YouTube Trucks because I have a idea for how I want this base to be. So. We're going to call it Trucks, just to give it a little bit of uh, an indicator of what's going on in the game. So, where do we want to start? That's a very good question. It's a very good question. Um, hmm. So in the last one we started in the Rocky Desert, so we don't want to start there. We could go to the Northern Forest or to the Grass Fields. Uh, I think we're going to go to the grass fields to start our game. And I'm gonna let the intro run, but uh, if you've already watched it, then feel free to skip ahead. Attention Pioneer, the following instructional video is a summary of your impending duties as an exoplanetary pioneer for Fixit Incorporated. Fixit Pioneers have three cyclical assigned pillars of work to ultimately accomplish project assembly. Use provided blueprints to build the necessary buildings. Chart the planet and gather resources to provide desired results and improve your infrastructure. Make sure to report any unusual discoveries to R&D for analysis. Expand your factories, outposts and pipelines through automation and augmentation. That's it. Get to work and be effective. Warning, planetfall imminent. Please remain seated during full procedure. Atmospheric entry in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Planet fall procedure initialized. We will be as effective as we possibly can. At least in the beginning. Suit is at 100%. Yeah. And Remember, up we go. Efficiency first. Godspeed. And we have arrived. So you need to. Start. Welcome to Planet Massage 2 ABB, your designated sector in the binary star system of Akicha. I am Ada, also known as Artificial Directory and Assistant, tasked to support pioneers, such as you, in their mission. You are the third of your sector to survive Planetfall. Congratulations. Ada talks a bit too much sometimes. Note Objective based introduction initialized. Welcome to onboarding. Thank you, Ada. First objective, please dismantle the drop pod. The um. resulting materials will... 
Second objective. Please ensure you have your Fixit Incorporated Xeno Zapper equipped before leaving the drop zone. Done. Note. According to Fixit regulation. Yeah. Thank you, Ada. I'm just gonna skip some of this. Third objective. Please familiarize yourself with the resource scanner to find iron. Yeah. Note. The acquisition of iron is considered essential in preparation for all future objectives. Just gonna pick up some of these leaves because we're this gonna consumable need them. possesses minor healing properties. Further analysis required to establish object scanner identification. So let's see. Initial where scans we have some reveal iron. coloring properties in the flower petals. Further analysis required. We'll analyze those a little bit later, I don't So all of, all of these leaves. Right. We're good. Let's scan for the iron. And 29 meters. Hmm. Okay, let's go over here and have a look. There's poison there, that's for sure. Ooh, berries. This consumable possesses minor healing properties. Further analysis required to establish object scanner identification. Okay. There's some um, horn patches here. Is there iron? Oh. There you go. Studying the remains of this creature might shed light on how to defend yourself in the future. I recommend analysis. He's down. Okay, so we have iron and limestone right here. That's actually not half bad. That is not half bad. I don't like that there was poison over there though. There's the big flying fish thing. Or whatever it is. There are some guys over there and there's poison there under the arch thing. But I suppose this is a fine starting area. There's some ore over there as well, it looks like. Go over and have a look before we settle on anything. What do we have over here? Okay. There's another. Got him. What do we have here? Copper or normal? Okay, so we have copper here. We have the three basics uh, quite close to each other. That is actually very nice. So I think we'll set up base here. And take it from there. Oh, there's a power slug. But right in the middle of all the poison. So not a power slug that we're going to get anytime soon. Okay. So let's uh, plant our hub somewhere. And... Get started building. And here, there's more ore there. Was that the one that we just found? No, I don't think so. What ore is that? There are two nodes there. Hmm, okay, that is very very nice. So let's uh, stick our hub down. And oh. Uh, not Q. Did they move the hotkey? I guess the hotkey is not Q anymore. Oh, I need to gather some iron before I can do anything. That's why. And before I can even build a hub, I have to have gathered some iron. So let's just uh, bang on these things for a second. 
Fourth objective, build the hub. Yeah, we will later. Note, to complete this objective, the resources salvaged from the drop pod will be consumed. Right. And she wants to build an open terrain and blah, blah, blah. We will do that somewhat. Now, this is pretty open terrain. Let's build the hub. I think we'll build it over here. Oh, we can climb up there. Oh, there's a power slug. We'll climb up. Yeah. And see if we can get that power slug straight away. It would actually be pretty nice. But get up there. Looks like we can. Very nice. This semi slug nice. seems to emit weak no. potential energy from its crystalline shell. Further analysis of crystals required to determine application. Yeah, we will analyze them. Where, where's the. Uh, where we get down from here? Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. Alright. Didn't hurt us too much. Some of all of this stuff out of the way. And build the hub here next to the cliff. Didn't need to take that wood. Never mind. Alright, so build the hub. Like so. And half bench. And the tier thing, let's start on tier 0 and select milestone. So we just need some rods. And we can actually make those now. Let's just get all of these iron ingots done. I'm gonna power through... Uh, the first tier and maybe or tier zero and maybe also tier one. I'm just gonna power through it as fast as I can. And I'm actually going to do that for most, most of it just to un unlock everything. All right. Congratulations! You have unlocked hub feature biomass generator, hub feature personal storage, scanner feature copper, Music. new equipment buildings and blueprints right. which can be found in the workshop when built build menu and craft bench respectively and we need some copper let's get over to the copper and pick that up i've done that before when i was there here's what it is oh there's a summer slip boat up there we went copper right here, and we already killed the thing. Let's get that copper. There we go. Let's get a little bit more. Let's get up to 50 or something. Something like that. And we have a bit. There we go. And come back up to our base and get the next milestone done. Get up here as we can. So what I have in mind for uh, this uh, playthrough is to basically set up trucks to bring everything from one production to a storage to another production and so on so you will have a lot of trucks going around and and doing stuff uh, picking up uh, or picking up uh, ingots and so on and so forth so we will be making a lot of trucks and we will have uh, one or two central storages and then we'll have everything out uh, around the world uh, being produced at uh, different locations and sending trucks to pick it up, bring it back to the depots and send it out again to where it's needed in another production and so on. So yeah, that we are going to have a lot 
of trucks. Right, so we can do this now. Yes, we can. That done. Let's how to hub upgrade two. Uh, let's see, what do we have now? We have craft bench equipment, bench, smelter, constructor, and power. We don't have. Let's see, do we? Uh, portable miners? No. Yes, we do. We do. So let's build uh, an equipment workbench. Let's see what do we need for that. Six and six. We we'll need to do some more iron ingots, and then we will set up the equipment workbench so that we can get some. Uh, Portable miners going as fast as possible so we don't have to uh, hand mine everything. That's a little bit tedious to say the least. Okay, so let's make 25 iron rods into our iron plate. And that's done. And we can stick some stuff in here. We don't really need it yet. basically what we need right now. So let's set up a equipment workbench. Where are we gonna put that? Let's just put it over here to the side. Stick it right there. Alright, so what do we need to make portable miners? We need more iron, some cable Iron plates, cable, and wire. Let's see, we can make some cable. Let's make 20 or something. How much do we need? Uh, portal miner. We can actually make one portable miner now, so let's do that. And then we just need some more uh, iron right now. So let's Go over and put this portable miner down on the iron so that it starts producing some of that for us. And let's just grab some ourselves as well and get moving on the next steps. So, this first bit can be a little bit boring, but it's it's needed, right? So uh, we have to do it. We have to do it. Okay. Let's uh, make the mine ingots. One. And some iron plate. There we go. And make some more portable miners. Make four of them now. Let's make all of them. There we go. And we'll stick like two more over on iron here. There, and one more. There, and let's grab what this guy has. And then we will run over to the limestone and get one going on that. And get one going on the uh, upper as well. And we have the three basic resources going uh, quite well. And that will be useful. So, stick the last portable miner down here and bang. 
Right. Put our thingy again. We have some iron ore. We're going to need more the copper and iron. But now I think we're okay. We can just go pick up whatever is in here. Same for uh, the limestone. We're going to need it very soon. Grab all. And let's see what we need for the next milestone. Uh, so, or hub upgrade. So, select that. We need 75 iron plate, 10 cable, 10 concrete, and 2 reinforced iron plate. So, let's see, and then we need eight. That's basically all we need for all of the uh, hub upgrade. So, let me just uh, complete all of the hub upgrades, and uh, then I will be back. So, see you in a second. Okay, so we're back, and... If we look here, we have a ton of power slugs around us. There's one there, one there, one over there, one over there, one over there, and one over there. So that is really, really nice. And also, this is about where we're going to build our central hub. So if we look around here, there is a ton of space. There's poison over in that direction but not too close so uh, yeah uh, this is uh, I think a pretty good spot for our central hub and right now our current hub is over in this direction so let's just go over there there's some poison there as well don't like poison poison is nasty but it is what it is so, as I mentioned earlier, we're going to set up so that we can use a lot of trucks. Because I think the trucks are pretty cool. And I want to build a base where they are an integral part of our uh, production line. So, definitely going to have a lot of trucks going around. Uh, let's see, how do we get back to the hub without getting killed by poison? We need to go this way. And I have been doing uh, quite a bit of work, as you will see when we get back to the hub. Um, where can we go? Where can we go? Uh, can we get around this way? Poison there as well. Man, there's a lot of poison in this area. Let's see, whoa didn't actually want to jump down there but it's fine I'm sure we can get back up somewhere actually no I'm not so sure now uh, let's run around this way and have a look poison up there they really oh, put a lot of poison in this zone haven't they oh here we go I see something man-made standing so if we look here I have put down some foundations around this area and set up the miners here I haven't actually hooked up any copper uh, automated mining yet because I don't think it's that important early on we have the two uh, iron patches going we have the limestone patch going Let's see how much do we have in here. We actually have two constructors here. They can't quite keep up, uh, or the miner can't quite keep up with uh, the two constructors, but that's okay for now. So we have some concrete and we have quite a bit on us as well. And we're going to need a lot for building our 
central uh, hub. We have some iron plates and some rods going and getting stored, so that's good. I have also done some research in the MAM. So we've done... Additional samples are required for R&D to continue developing a defense-oriented blueprint. The creature has been named Fakecoirus plumius cata, or fluffy-tailed hog. Okay, thank you, Ada. So I have been doing some research. I researched the flower petals, the barrel nuts, the green power slug. Uh, I don't know why flower petals and barrel nuts are there twice, actually. Uh, I've done the alien carapace first time, and we need to do the second time, but we don't have enough yet. I did find a yellow power slug, which I stuffed in here. And we're going to research that as well. Uh, let's see, anything I don't want on me. I think I want to do the yellow power slug before I do the um, the berries, the pale berries. So let's see, yellow power slug, begin that analysis. And if we look at our tiers, I have unlocked the hop upgrade. And I have unlocked utility and logistics. Uh, utility for the biofuel and logistics for the uh, splitters, mergers and the very cool conveyor lift which I'm looking very much forward to seeing in action. Uh, let's just uh, convert this uh, biome, uh, these leaves into biomass and into biofuel so we don't have much in our inventory. Okay. Oh, come on. Going. All right. Uh, stick it in here. As you can see, I have it a bit already. Now let's see what don't we need so much of for this run. We don't really need these. Not right now, anyway. I want to bring a lot of concrete. Because that is going to be our main purpose for this one. Oh, I also built uh, an extra biomass burner over here. There. Because... Yeah, we needed it. I think we are good on power for now. Yeah, we're good. We need to fill up on anything. Let's go grab all the concrete that we can carry and get back to our uh, new uh, central hub spot and start looking at what we're going to do over there. And I'm going to pick up all of the barrel nuts that I can on the way. Now let's see, where was it? It's over this way, isn't it? Yeah, so this way. I really don't like that there's so much poison around here. It is what it is, we can't really do anything about it. So we just have to deal with it. And for now, our uh, central hub over here is also going to be the uh, kind of the starter base because we might as well use it as a starter base until we are at a point where we can actually start uh, making the base that we want to make. So let's get over here. Where are all those uh, slugs that I found? Let's pick up some leaves while we go. Down this way, I think. Look at that, there's some more over here. What's this? Or is it just a just a thing? Not an actual node. Oh, barrel nuts. Very. Right. Um, let's see. There's one of the power slugs that we found. I 
it was over this way we wanted to go. Yeah. There's the other one. Okay, so this is starting to look familiar. Okay, so this is where it's going to be. Unfortunately, we don't have the ability to make a chainsaw yet, which is a little bit annoying uh, because I would like to cut down some of all these trees, but ooh, it'll have to wait. Okay, let's see, we have the power slot. We have a power slot down there. Right there. Let's go grab that. Hey there, power slug. Oh, not enough space. Okay, we'll grab that later then. I hear a fluffy-tailed hog somewhere. It scares me a little bit. Okay, so we're going to build here. Let's just clear as much stuff as we can. So that we don't have stuff coming up through our foundation. We're going to build the foundation a little bit up anyway, but it never hurts to pick stuff up. Maybe it hurts to watch, I don't know, I've never watched that. Really. Mm. Alright, so this is where we're going to start our foundation. And it's going to be big gonna be really big so let's start our foundation and say right there good to me and I will run over here and keep it coming we want to get as close to the poison as we can without actually going into the poison. I think this is about as close as we'll get. So let's see, how many is this? One, two, one, one third, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Um, 16. Okay. We're going to have to tear some of this up again to... Uh, maybe not, because we're going to build higher. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine. Ten, eleven. Um, 14, 14, 15, and 16. Oof. Almost fit. Almost fit. Alright, so let's fill in all of this. going to be apparently 16 by 16 which is fine by me you can always expand on it if, uh, if that's not enough right 16 by 16 seems pretty big to me We're not going to have enough concrete for all of this, but some of it at least. Okay, whoops, want to go down. Then just keep filling it in. And what we're going to do is we're going to have pillars in the corner of these. So 
we have something to build our uh, our base on but this uh, bottom area is going to be uh, open because we're going to have a ton of truck stations down here And I really want to have it look like it's been built on pillars. So, oops. Stick. And we are already running out of concrete. And we're going to need to put one more level on this I think before we call it good what's in the way there copper ore okay that up yeah and let's grab this and there are some nuts over here that we might as well grab as well platform here and continue we're almost done oh there's a fireball thing stop it come on die Thank you. let's just grab these jump up and until you the platform. We're basically out of concrete already. We're gonna need a lot of concrete on this build. A hell of a lot of concrete actually. But as you can see this is going to be a pretty darned big platform. Uh, 16 by 16 it should be. And we're going to have truck stations down here and then We'll have uh, our central storage above and we're going to have from all our different production facilities around the map, we'll have trucks bringing in the, uh, the goods and store them here and then take them out and go elsewhere if they are needed elsewhere. So I, th I think that's going to be pretty cool. Uh, I hope so at least. And that's the plan that it's going to be cool. So yeah. But, and we'll of course be using the conveyor lift to get stuff up and down, uh, to and from the, uh, the truck stations and so on. So that's going to be pretty cool. And when trains come someday, we will maybe switch to trains, who knows, uh, we'll find out. But uh, this is all for uh, this time, guys. I will uh, finish this platform and maybe build a little bit up uh, so you don't have to watch uh, that whole building process and uh, then I will see you next time. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, why not leave a life, like and maybe subscribe and I will see you next time.